Hello everyone and welcome to, an, to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdvault.com YouTube channel. This is a quick tutorial to show you the method I used to paint this uh, snowy and frozen effect over the text Photoshop. Alright, let's get started. Okay, firstly we just go into this uh, layered file here. Uh, as you can see, I have already got a background and uh, with some text over the over the uh, the texture so as you can see it got some uh, layer blending effect uh, for this text so just gonna quickly go through them with you all right so we've got the Bavel and, and uh, emboss uh, we've got the inner glow we've got the satin we've got the pattern overlay and we've got a little bit uh, drop shadow with this effect, I've got the uh, the detailed sh screenshots uh, in the full tutorial, uh, which I have the link down below. So if you wanted to just um, check out that link, and uh, you can see the detailed settings for each of these uh, effects. All right, so let's just add the frozen textures over the text. Just going to this uh, snow stock image here. So I'm gonna use the rectangular marquee tool gonna just select a piece of textures here copy that that bit of uh, selection here go back to our document and just paste that texture over the document uh, we want to just resize that a little bit use the free trans transformation tool uh, just enough to cover the text apply the transformation make sure you set it as a clipping mask to this text layer so you right click on that layer choose create clipping mask I will also reduce the opacity of this layer a little bit I'll just drop that down to about 90 okay so we're gonna also uh, add some cracks on the text layer so just to make that a little bit more realistic uh, so we're gonna add a layer mask so just click on that little button here to add a layer mask for this text layer I'm gonna grab the eraser tool I'll be using a crack brush yeah I'm just gonna use that one there um, yeah so We've got the, the crack brush download link down below as well. So yeah, just click on that link and you can just download that brush and uh, add it to your Photoshop. All right, so it's gonna erase some of that textures of the text. So just make sure you adjust the brush size as you go. So Yeah, so that's the sort of effect that you will be achieving. Uh, I'm just gonna go into this uh, layer mask to have a look. So yeah, so that's the that's what's on the layer mask, and uh, yeah, so that's the result uh, for the text. All right, so we're done with the with the icy uh, frozen texture. So I'm gonna just paint some snow effect uh, with a with the brush tool. All right, so let's create a new layer. Uh, this um, chalk brush here. Uh, this brush should come with your Photoshop. So it's gonna make sure the foreground color was set to white. Let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm just gonna apply this. Yeah, make sure you adjust brush size as you go. Also, to just to fine tune the the effect a little bit, we're gonna use the eraser tool. Uh, we're gonna choose the chalk brush again. Uh, just gonna go through the the snow just to fine tune the edge a little bit.
Yeah, so um, I'm gonna just continue adding some more snow effect into the text. Raise a tool to fine tune the effect a little bit. So to go through the edges and maybe just break the uh, the snow part like this. Sort of trying to achieve a falling um, effect as well. So. Yeah, so this is uh, basically the method how you um, paint the snow over the text. We can add a uh, image adjustment layer. Get levels. Uh, again, we're going to set it to use the previous layer to create a uh, clipping mask. It's going to fine tune this uh, frozen layer, texture layer a little bit. to make that more re realistic. There you go. Yeah, so that's basically how you paint the snow and find the, the ice texture over the text. I have the full uh, tutorial link uh, down below. So yeah, just check out the full tutorial if you are interested in achieving this uh, the full effect. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this uh, this short tutorial, and I uh, will see you next time.